Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my Minecraft 1.7 Snapshot Test Drive. This is version 13W36B, which in fact came out, la that's right, last week on September 5th, right, Tang? And Tang and I did a video last week on the fishing system as well as the new um, plants and flowers. Um, in fact, I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to take a look at that. Um, no, you didn't. Did you? You just farted it and then ran and tried to blame it on me. Everybody's looking at me like I did that. Was it me? Look at her. Look at the bubbles. Oh, why do you do that? Nobody does that anymore, Tang. No, it's old. It's childish. Immature. Grow up, would you? Anyway, so in this episode, we're going to take a look at the biomes. Um, in fact, we're standing in one of the new biomes right now called a mesa. And uh, that's why I'm surrounded by all this hardened clay. And we'll take a look at that in a moment. But before we do that... I actually wanted to show you guys um, something that I missed in the last episode, which was the new fishing enchantment. So we have a lure enchantment, a looting enchantment, and a luck of the sea enchantment. And um, if you put those on a fishing pole, like I have done here with Grandpa's Lucky Looter, you get one heck of a fishing pole that's going to, uh, I guess, make you a better fisherman. I don't know exactly what these do. I think the jury is still out on these. But this is Grandpa's old... <gasps> Grandpa! I got an enchanted book! Oh my gosh! Knock back two, protect... <laughs> it worked! <laughs> oh, poor Grandpa. I wish you were still here to see me. Well, he's kind of here. Poor old Grandpa. So, again, the jury's still out on this stuff, but that was pretty awesome. Here comes another one. What else have we got? Wow! Wow! Somebody... Th that's Grandma's fishing pole! <laughs> Lure two! Oh, I wish you were here, old man. Anyway, all right, that's it. Oh, wait, no, one more thing. Um, if you name an item and you put it in a frame, for example, bam, bam, Grandpa's Lucky Looter, it'll show the name. So as you can see, I have a dunce cap, I've got my Disco Slacks, and Eye of Sauron. That only works with um, items that you actually name in an anvil. doesn't work with regular items. So if I put, for example, uh, just a regular old diamond pick doesn't work see now here's something cool too in 1.7 if you punch a frame with something in it just the item pops out that's nice didn't work that way before all right so let's uh let's go back to the mesa all right let's get on with it i should probably replenish your um water breathing just in case uh, so a mesa here's a mesa right here it's kind of like a canyon with red uh red-ish hardened clay and there's a plateau here as well, so we're kind of in the canyon section with all this, uh, with the with the sand, and we've got scrub and hardened clay. So there's six types of hardened clay you can get from this particular um, biome, and you can gather it, of course, using a pick. But the, this is beautiful. The ability to collect hardened clay um, is going to be awesome. In fact, we've got colored clay. We also have regular hardened clay, which I believe is that one right there. Okay, so that's pretty much it for the Mesa. I've created a bunch of new maps, and we're going to go take a look at some of the biomes. Now, there's lots of new biomes. We don't have... I don't have all of them to show you, but we'll look at about half a dozen. So let's go do that right now. And Tang, you stay here, okay? I'll be right back. Yes, I... Do not talk back to me. Be right back. Okay, first up, we have the Sunflower Plains, which obviously has, well, lots of sunflowers. I know, mind blown, right? Uh, let's take a look and make sure, though, because I just I just want to make sure I'm actually in a sunflower plane. So let's let's bring up the HUD. Oh yeah, okay, sure, yep, sunflower plains. Um, now, sunflower plains have lots of sunflowers, but they also have lots of oxide daisies and azure bleue, whatever that is. That's that white bush, and that they all grow wild here. We'll take a walk through the meadow so you can see. Oh, there we go. There's some of those French flowers. And then we have some oxide daisies over here. We're still in the sunflower plains, of course. And then lots of sunflowers. Now, all the sunflowers will face east toward the sun. They like sun, apparently. And if you harvest a sunflower, you get a sunflower seed. One for each. And then you can just take these and plop them down. And no matter how you put them, they always face east. So, pretty cool stuff. The other flowers... You just pluck them just like uh, any old flowers, like the reds. Hi, buddy! <laughs> um, like the red and the yellow. So, there we go. See? Pretty cool stuff. Now, that's the uh, that's the Sunflower Plains. Let's get over to... Whoops. I want to go and fly. 
let's go over here to another biome. And this one is the roofed forest with giant shrooms. And by the way, this seed is punchwood. Just punchwood. Put that in your little seed generator um, when you create the map. And it puts you right in, in between these two, um, these two biomes, I believe, if I recall correctly. So well, let's go take a walk through the roofed forest and see what it's got to offer. So it's clearly dark inside the roofed forest. The canopy here is very thick and it creates many shadows, many dark places that not only can you put mushrooms down under here because it's dark enough, but it will spawn monsters too. So be careful when you walk through the dark roofed forest because you just might bump into a bad guy. Um, I don't see any in here right now, but there is plenty of darkness here for them to spawn. The trees inside here are um, two by two. Looks like spruce to me, sir. Uh, let's grab an axe and chop one down. And hopefully nothing bad comes out and beats me up because of it. I got wood. Spruce! It is spruce. There we go. So regular spruce wood. And we have some of these azure bluets growing in here as well. And of course, there are wild mushrooms growing. The little ones. And the uh, the biggest, coolest feature here, of course, is the giant mushrooms that are generated naturally. Oh, let me show you the HUD. See? Roof forest. Bam. You get red, giant red mushrooms, and you get giant browns. And, of course, you can get lots of mushrooms by harvesting these guys. Wowzers. <laughs> Out of the way. Okay. So, no monsters in here, but trust me, they do spawn in here. It's dark enough for that to happen. All right. So, that is the roofed forest. Uh, by the way, I have tried growing um, giant mushrooms in here, but it doesn't work. Unless there's enough space and there's darkness above. All right. So now we have a savanna slash savanna plateau. And a savanna is pretty much a grassland. Spy! Is pretty much a grassland with these funky trees called acacia trees. Though in reality, all it is is jungle wood with oak leaves. So if you take a piece, and I'm going to chop a piece out, what do we get? Jungle wood. Now I don't know if acacia trees will be added to the game, maybe with their own type of texture or something, I don't know. But for now, they're jungle trees that look like acacia trees by the shape and size and so forth. So this is pretty much a savanna. Now savannas can actually have horses. They do not have lions, fortunately, but you can get horse growth here. Um, these horses I, I spawned in using spawn eggs just to show you that. And so I wouldn't remind, uh, I wouldn't forget, but pretty much, whoops, I want to fly. But pretty much they can spawn here. So you have horses that can potentially spawn in plains and now savannas. And if we fly around the savanna, you can tell here that it's mostly just a grassland with some sparse tree growth. And the trees look kind of funky. Very lovely. I like. But honestly, yeah, we need lions. We need more savanna animals. We need more animals, period, in Minecraft. Is that a bear? Oh, okay. It's just a horse. <laughs> Oh, wait, let me just show you the seed here. Um, by the way, there it is. It says Savannah, and I'm going to give you the seed for this one. There it is. I will um, potentially put that in the description below if I have time. <laughs> if not, pause the video and type it out. All right, now let's move on to the next biome. Okay, here we are at the next biome. And before I reveal the sign and show you what it is, I'm going to give you three guesses. And the first two don't count. No, cow. Wrong. And besides, you're not playing. All right. I'll just pan around here. No, zombie. Wrong. It is a birch forest. Imagine that, huh? Whew, mind blown. Again. So we are in a birch forest. And in birch forest, we get birch trees. And we also get uh, lilac bushes, which you can harvest simply by punching them and getting them. I'm in creative mode, so I'm not going to do that right now. But let's take a peek. There it is. Birch forest. Birch Forest Hills, in fact. Um, that's because most of the biomes will have a hilly or plateau-y variant, I believe. But there it is. Lots and lots of birch trees. The cows are a bonus feature. Um, and the lilacs. I'm not sure what else. But that's it. All right. So that's birch. Let's move on to the next biome. Oh, boy. I did it again. I didn't show the seed. Here we go. There's the seed. 
Enjoy your birchy forest. And, oh, those are the coordinates, by the way, because I don't think you'll spawn here. You have to take a bus. It's not far, though. Oh. All right, let's move on to the next biome. Okay, so here we have a swampland, but according to the wiki page that has a list of all the new biomes, it says there's some sort of swampland hills. Unfortunately, I could not find one, so I'm pawning this off as swamplands. Excuse me, spy chicken. This is how we eliminate spy chickens that work for witches. Um, so I'm pawning this off as a swampland hills, but clearly if I press F3, it is indeed just a swampland. There's no hills there, but... There's a little hill. There's a tiny little hill here. It kind of rolls up, doesn't it? No. But pretty much a swampland, uh, the same as the old swamp trees with vines, potential for witch huts, and we have lily pads out there, lots of water, some mushrooms, and we have these new um, orchids, right? Yeah, blue orchids. So that's cool. So I guess um, I guess there's a swampland hills, which is just more hilly, but this ain't it. So. Check the wiki page for that, and good luck finding one. I'm out of here. Let's get to the next biome. Okay, nothing spectacular here. This is just a taiga biome without snow, a.k.a. the snowless taiga. And let's take a look at F3, and all it says is taiga, and pretty much it's the same as the taiga that we're already familiar with, except without snow. So it's got spruce trees, it's got green grass, and some ferns. Looks like it's got the big ferns. Cool. And, uh, well, that's it. All right, let's move on to something a little more sexy, shall we? All right, on to the ice spikes. Or something like that. Let's do it. All right, check this guy out. Ice Plains Spike. Now, how groovy is that? Look at that. It's just spikes of ice. Cool. I'm going to fly and show you. I'm surrounded by them. Huge, giant spikes of ice. Now, let's take a look at some of the features we have here. Now, this ice is called packed ice. It is opaque. In other words, you cannot see through it. And here's the old original ice. Side by side, you can see the difference here. So the original ice is indeed transparent, while the packed ice is not. It doesn't melt. You can put torches on it. No melty mess. That's pretty awesome. Now, you can get this ice, uh, this packed ice with... Something that has Silk Touch on it. Now let me switch into survival mode and I will demonstrate. If you break it with a regular tool. Gone. If you take it with a Silk Touch. Got it. You get it. That's pretty cool stuff. And it doesn't turn into water when you break it. Unlike, um, I mean, even if you break one that's not, not with a Silk Touch. It just breaks like glass. If you break one of these, it turns into water. One of the old originals, right? So that's kind of neat. Um, there's also a lot of snow here. So you can see snow blocks actually covered with snow, too. So if you hit this, you get a snowball off the top. You can clear them like this if you want to go out and shovel the snow off your sidewalk made of snow. But if you want the big guy, one block. Wow, look at that. It's only one hit, too, of this thing. Sheesh. That's kind of nice. Gives you a lot of snowballs, doesn't it? Of course, you can get these with Silk Touch. If you have a Silk Touch, and I put one on this, and then you can get the snow blocks. Of course, there's so much snow up here. Anyway, you can just make your own blocks. Wait, whoa. Oh, gosh. Here we go. Bam. Okay. That is groovy. Was I right? Huh? Huh? Groovy? Look at that little face right there. It's like little eyes. It's like a little alien guy. Beep, beep, boop, beep, boop, beep, boop. I don't know. All right, let's move on to the next thing. Oh, wait, let me show you. Uh, here it is, ice plane spikes. There is the coordinates for you because you will spawn way out there. And let me give you the seed, of course. Duh. There it is. Dun, 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 dun. All right. Have fun with your spikes. Get down, man. Get down, get groovy. All right, let's check out the next biome. Okay, so this next biome isn't nearly as groovy as Ice Spikes, but it is new and I feel obligated to share with you. So, it is Deep Ocean. Let's take a look here. Aha! That's funny. Uh, I'm actually in forest right now. Let's walk the plank. Uh, but before we walk the plank, what do we get in Deep Ocean? Gravel, clay, and squiddies. I promise you there is Deep Ocean here. Beach. Oh, lovely beach. Oh, that's a beautiful river. 
Oh, here we go. Oh, wait, wait a minute. There it is. Got it. Deep ocean. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to jump in. I'm going to show you what it looks like under there. I have a Respiration 3 helmet on. I'm going to drink a potion of night vision so we can see more clearly under there. Wow, look at that. And here we go. Hold your nose. Now, like I said, deep ocean is loaded with gravel. Look at it all. So this is something like up to twice as deep as the old oceans. So really deep, I guess that means. It's supposed to be a lot of clay down here. Not in this particular deep ocean, but maybe there's some clay out there somewhere. Don't know. You just have to explore to find out. So there you go. Deep ocean. Imagine. That's your deep ocean seed. Of course, there's lots of deep ocean out there, but anyway. Okay, let's move on to the last um, the last biome, which is amazing. You ready? Let's do it. Alright, our last biome for the day in this video is the Mega Taiga. Let me press F3, give you the coordinates there, and I'll even do the seed for you. There you go. Um, what is a Mega Taiga? Well, let's fly up and take a peek. It's like a redwood forest. So these trees are absolutely massive. They're um, spruce, pine, and they grow really tall. Some of them, anyway. And if you look down here at the ground, we've got some funky looking dirt with this green and orange here on the top soil. And they call this Podzol. Now there's some interesting features of this Podzol. You can only get Podzol with a silk touch. Let me switch to survival. And let me show you what happens when I use a regular shovel on Podzol. You just get regular dirt. Now if I use a silk touch, I can get the Podzol. Oops, where'd it go? There it is. Now, why would you want Podzol? Well, because it's pretty. It's cool, and you can grow mushrooms on it. You can grow giant mushrooms on it, just like mycelium. Bam! Portable instant shroom shelter. Right? From back in the day. That is awesome. So you don't need darkness above to grow mushrooms on Podzol. I love it. I love it. Of course, you still need to, you still need to meet the conditions around. Um, you have to have the right size and space. That one snuck in there somehow. But that's Podzol. That's pretty cool. Um, so it's very mushroom friendly. And here's our redwood tree, which again is just basically spruce wood. And here's a cool thing: boulders, moss stone boulders. This is not called mossy stone anymore. It's called moss stone. So if I pick this up and we take a look, see it says moss stone. I don't know when that changed because it was always mossy cobble, right? But when I first saw this, saw my son playing, I'm like, oh, look at all the ruins because he was in a podzol. He was in one of these mega tigers. I'm oh, look at the ruins. I was so psyched. But it turns out they're just boulders, which is kind of cool because these are hard to find. You can only get moss cobble, mossy cobble in dungeons, right? So and ruins. So we'll have a nice little sauce, sauce, a source of moss cobblestone. And it looks like we have ferns here as well and some mushrooms and spruce and what else here? I guess that's it. And the pods all. So not bad. I like this. I like this one a lot. So that's it for now. All right. I think I'm going to cut out and uh, let's get back over here to my portable instant shroom shelter it's getting late i should probably get in here and make a door block that off there we go instant shelter loving it I should put a floor in here though Let's climb up what do you think yeah it's a little safer all right i need more all right safe for now we're safe for now all right, folks, we'll see you next time. Hope you enjoyed this episode. And if you did, a thumbs up is always appreciated. And uh, I'll see you all in the next, next video. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but it'll be a surprise. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Sure. And then be, be I remember safe. when fish got changed. Yeah, I bet you do. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I remember. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> <clears throat> hmm, how could I ever forget? I have nightmares. Fish, fish everywhere. Fish NATO. Oh god, I just looked at it. Enderman. Dang it, here he comes. Ink. 
Where you at? I'll help you. Give me a treat. Chop it with a chicken. Huh. Ah, he's lazy. He's lazy. You still have your blindfold on? Nope. Oh, yeah. About that blindfold. What? It's gone. Oh, okay. I had a name on it, didn't it? 